Discover solutions to issues that affect your family and professional life with practical information to help you get past life's adversities. Take a proactive approach to power up your life with Rosalie's expert resources. The Sunshine State is experiencing a boost in holiday shopping due to the great resurgence in tourism. This separates Florida from the rest of the nation. Retailers in Florida are expected to reap a 4.5% jump statewide during November-December season, compared to the national average of 3 to 4% increase. Visit Florida also reported 2.5 million more visitors through the third quarter compared to last year, and let's not forget the 5,000 seasonal working jobs. Yes, so what's a hot retail item this holiday season? Most of us have a holiday gift budget that we want to stick to while getting some bang for our buck. And there's a plethora of tech gift choices for us to consider. And it's very easy to overspend and underdeliver. So whether your budget for gifts is ample or modest, tech expert and Emmy Award winning show host Katie Lenendahl, a leading voice in all things tech, joins us with the cutting edge gift ideas for you and your family. Good morning, Katie. Hey, good morning. When I think of cutting edge, I think of expensive. How about an affordable laptop that we can all get with all the bells and whistles? Doesn't have to be that way. Popular now, Chromebooks. This is now HP's Chromebook. What's awesome about it is sleek and modern. As you can see there, that coral and turquoise color, 14 inch diagonal display, only 4.1 pounds, nine hours of battery life, Intel graphics power and behind the scenes, also webcam, free 100 gigs of Google Drive cloud storage, and also all the ports you need. And plus 50 bucks extra, you can actually get 4G connectivity. So you can have that internet connection anywhere you go. Great for the student, great for the the traveler. How about a practical gift everyone in Florida can use after a storm or when the lights go out from a power surge? Absolutely, and this is from Energizer. They have a new light up of light fusion technology products, and I can't get enough of these suckers. Use them during Halloween, use them during camping. Check this out. This is a pop up lantern, portable and powerful. There's also a folding LED lantern and a three in one flashlight. You control the brightness, there's dimming capabilities, 100 hours of runtime. Many of us work long hours away from home, so what's a perfect gift to keep our home safe all year long? So this is a nice little gadget. This is super easy to set up and super easy to operate. This is Dropcam, starts at just 149 bucks, sets up in minutes and allows you to check in 24 seven. You can actually set up a monitoring schedule. You can share a link with friends and family and check out this bonus, text and email notifications with an app, alerting you of motion or sound. So talk about the smarter home, little gadget can take care of all of that comfort in knowing that everything is okay. We need to spend more time with our kids and teach them creativity. Any suggestions? Gaming consoles big this holiday season and whether you're hooking up with a new Xbox One or PS4 or a Wii or also a 3DS, no problem no matter what your gaming console. This is one of Toys R Us hot, on the hot toy list. This is Skylander Swap Force. And if you're a parent, you know all about Skylanders. And Swap Force is kind of special Skylander. They actually have different mix and match uh, swap abilities. So you can take one half of one character, the top half, and swap it with the bottom half of another character. Over 250 character combos activated. If you're a parent, again, no Skylanders. Islanders. Portal of Power is that keyword, and they're fun and easy to play with. This is one of my favorite games. I play it on the 3DS all the time. So again, no matter what your gaming console of choice, Skylander Swap Force is an awesome option as a parent. Anything new in audio toys for our crew? Yeah, I got two options for the crew, and one is, this is a Bluetooth speaker. I have never seen a Bluetooth speaker quite like this. This is a JBL Pulse, and as you can see, amazing because it actually changes colors and effects right from the speaker. Full-on LED light show, 10 hours of battery life, making a, a great gifting option. And last but not least, I want to get to JBL headphones. We know JBL for that sound quality. These are DJ-style over-ear headphones, dual rotating ear cups, awesome uh, sound quality, but also portable, number of different color options to choose from. From. Thanks, Katie, for all the tech gift ideas to keep our family safe and sound. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. This season, tablets are everywhere. Tablet shipments increased 53.4% in 2013, and experts say within the next five years, there'll be 905 million tablets in use worldwide. And even technophobe holdouts have to admit the tablet's time has come. 
Tech Life expert Stephanie Humphrey joins us to offer some expert insight to help you or Santa if you're in the market for a tablet. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. I guess I'm one of those holdouts. So why the boom in tablets over the last few years? Well, because the trend is mobile. Everybody wants everything right when they want it. You want that functionality on demand. You want to be able to take it with you wherever you go. So that portability is what is attracting people to tablets. You have uh, all of the functionality of a laptop, but you also get to take it wherever you want. It's lighter. It, they tend to be a little bit less expensive. And again, the portability is what really sells people along with the touchscreen. What are some of the best ways for families to use tablet technology? Well, families can use it to stay in touch. You have Skype, you have FaceTime, you have all those ways to kind of do that video chatting with someone who may be out of town. Social media is huge, of course, so you have access to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of those uh, social networks. You also have movies you can uh, download and stream, Netflix. Uh, you can get that on the tablet and keep the kids busy that way. You can do gaming and uh, all types of video games, but you can also do a lot of other things as far as uh, productivity goes with Microsoft Office, with uh, Excel, with Word. So it gives you all of the functionality you'd have normally with your laptop, but you have it in the palm of your hand. Most use tablets for entertainment, like movies and things. So how about enhancing our child's education? There are hundreds of educational apps you can download and games that will help a child with memory, with learning, with cognition. That's the thing you don't really necessarily have on your smartphone, and you definitely aren't going to get that on a regular laptop, is those apps. Having access to those apps between the, the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store, iOS and Android, you have all kind of different ways to kind of keep your kid engaged and keep them learning outside of normal video games. And for businesses, you can sell stuff basically. You, have, you pop a square device onto that and you can start swiping credit cards. So you're now doing point of sale transactions. If you're a small business owner and you want to, you know, you're selling cupcakes or you're selling paintings or you're selling anything, you can do those transactions right there from that tablet. You have people out in the field that have access to uh, data back at the main company office that they now have on their tablets that, you know, gives them that data right when they need it to uh, interact with their clients. So tablets, they really satisfy a wide range of usefulness and functionality for entertainment, personal, and business use. Stephanie, where can our viewers find more information? Well, you can uh, hit me up for any questions about tablets on my website at amatteroflifeandtech.com, or you can always tweet me at Tech Life Steph. Thanks, Stephanie, for joining us with all that tablet info to encourage technophobe holdouts to go get their tablet. Preparing the turkey and mashed potatoes and homemade pies and many tasty dishes is all a part of preparing for the holiday season to celebrate with family and friends. Entertaining lifestyle expert and professional chef, Maureen Petrosky is here to share tips to create elegant and inexpensive ways to dress up your holiday table. Good morning, Maureen. Good morning, how are you? It's all about foods and great spirits. So what are some easy ways to create the look of a holiday celebration that stands out? Well, I have some great tips for you on everything from shortcuts and cleaning, what food, side dishes, and wine to serve, and how to dress up your decor for the holiday season. Now, this is the time of year you want to put your best foot forward, and if you're entertaining, cleaning can kind of be a drag. But for me, it's got to be easy. This new steam mop gives you that visibly deep clean that you can really impress your guests. And for me, I've got the kids running through and the dog. It's very quick and easy to use. And then it lets me set up for my decor and setting up my table. But first we want to get that part taken care of. And then when it comes to holiday decor, it's simple to put festive things on your table and you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it. Dollar General is a great go-to. You can see here I have a lot of holiday items on the table. Everything from candles to dish towels. Again, it's a great value and it's convenient. You can even pick up your last minute holiday baking needs there or even a hostess gift as well. Any suggestions to serve up that special dish to wow your guests? 
Well, dishes around this time of year are usually seasonally inspired. Use what you have, use what's available to you. Simple things like dressing up a dish with a few pomegranate seeds or even some fresh orange zest is a great citrus for the winter to change up a cranberry sauce. Side dishes for us that are favorites or my mother-in-law's stuffing is at every holiday party. It's got chestnuts and sausage in it, but a must have on my family table for sure is our mashed potatoes. And I don't know about you, but peeling all those potatoes can really take a long time and it can make a mess. So my go-to shortcut is simply potatoes, traditional mashed potatoes. It doesn't get easier than this. You just heat and eat and they taste just like homemade. You could put a little shredded cheese on top of them or even some fresh chives and just gives it a little special touch. Offer is a new take on a traditional dish that people might not expect. Well, ginger is a great flavor for this time of year. Ginger is healthy for your stomach. It also helps to put it in some tea. You can have that to fight off the colds. But think about putting a little ginger maybe into your cranberry sauce or even in your turkey, your main meats. Ginger is a nice little spice that really is unexpected and your guests will love. And we need to make sure that there's something to drink that everyone will like. But with all those flavors that we talk about on the table, sometimes the beverages can be a little confusing. What wine should you serve? It's actually easier than you think. You wanna go for something that's versatile, like this New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. It's a great price point when you're serving a big crowd, and it's also a nice hostess gift like we mentioned before. When you're bringing a hostess gift, you don't have to spend a lot of money to make your host or hostess feel special. You know, under $20, something simple, simply put a bow on a bottle of wine or a little gift tag, and it makes it special and makes a statement. Thanks, Maureen, for your inexpensive and quick ways to prepare for your holiday celebration. Happy holidays. Thank you for having me. Happy holidays. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Oh, the season of cheer is here. And you're working overtime, and the house still hasn't been decorated, and the gifts, well, that's a whole nother nightmare. But fear not. Frugal living expert Leah Ingram is here to get your holiday on track and on time. Good morning, Leah. Good morning, and on budget. That's the big part, too. Okay, Leah, tell us your secrets to transforming your home and getting your holiday must-dos done in a single day. Well, actually, the way I get through the holidays on target, on budget, is to approach gift shopping like I approach grocery shopping. And that is simply to make a list, check it twice, take it with me to the store, so that if I'm you know, looking and I'm checking off, there is no way I'm gonna miss anybody I need to buy gifts for. And if I've targeted certain price points, I'm not gonna go over budget. So give us some decorating ideas from the front door to the living room. There's two ways to get your house looking beautiful for the holidays. First, you want to target a store where you're going to be able to get those decorating items for $5, for $10. And that's why I love Family Dollar. This whole area where I'm standing right now is all decorated with items I got at that store. Beautiful stuff. I mean, actually, a lot of this stuff can double as hostess gifts. So if you buy something to decorate your house and you really love it, pick up a couple more, put them in your gift closet, and you've got ready-made hostess gifts. And then the other way to easily decorate your house is look around. What do you have? Do you have items in your yard? You know, are there branches from trees that you could maybe snip off and put on the center of a table or in a hurricane jar? Those are the kinds of easy free things that you can do in your own yard and your house is going to look gorgeous. A great way to decorate the living room is to maybe go with one or two colors, like surrounding me right now, red and gold. Those are hot colors for this year. So maybe you just wanna go with the red Christmas balls and some gold ribbon. I mean, those are really easy things that you can do and they're not gonna be expensive. You can use them from year to year. You can line the Christmas balls up on a mantle like that is behind me. You know, I love to take big hurricane jars and fill them with Christmas balls. That can be a centerpiece. It can be some something on the coffee table. Really easy ways to use one item, multiple ways. The most important thing is to get everyone involved, young and old. How do we do it? You really want to divide and conquer. You gotta clear everybody's calendars, make sure you know there's no play dates, there's no sporting events, anything. Get everybody together, make that list, divide it up, 
and target a store like Family Dollar, where your kids can go and take care of the wrapping paper. Maybe mom and dad go and take care of finding teacher gifts or hostess gifts, but you'd use a list. I mean, that is the way to get everything done, is to write it down and to hand out the list to everybody, have them check off when they get everything, and that is a way you can have a family day out. You know, your kids will be able to spend their allowance and they'll still be able to get great gifts from Mattel, from Parker Brothers, from Disney. I mean, name brand items, and you'll get back in the car and everything will be done. So if you need a number of little gifts for your guests and you're on a mini budget, any suggestions? Sure, I find that the gift of food never refused. Great teacher gift. This is my go-to gift every year with my daughters in school. And what I love is I have a box of cookies right here. It's about $5. Delicious cookies. There's so many in there that you could actually divide them up into three or four different boxes. And for about $5, take care of all of your teacher gifts and they're going to love them. Thanks, Leah, for your frugal tips to create magical fun for the holidays. Thank you, you too. And for more gift ideas, you can go to FamilyDollar.com. If you want to decorate with some crafty and unique items, try making DIY gifts. Sandra Lee, artistic Emmy-winning homemade expert and author, is here to motivate us to be creative. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning, Rosalie. How are you? Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you. Why should we consider do-it-yourself gifts this holiday season? Well, this holiday is all about making it affordable and also about DIY. It's about making something in your home for something with someone else. And a lot of times, like my grandma would say, you know what, honey, you can spend $500 or $5, and the thing that costs the $5 that you had to put your heart and soul in, that's what means the most. It's not about the money. So make it affordable and make it special, and that is why I love doing my DIY craft projects with Michaels. The holidays are all about food. Do you have any tips for gift-giving ideas? So here's what I have for you. Starting off this holiday season, people love things that are baked at home. So I go and get these cute little loaf pans. They come in all different colors. And I put some homemade cookies in there with a little uh, gift tag and, of course, a gift certificate to Michael's. Then there's tins for all sorts of cakes and cookies. Of course, our cupcake tree is a great centerpiece done with Wilton's little sugars and also with those pretty little marshmallow peeps that everyone loves. What's your go-to DIY gift this holiday season? If you're looking for a gift that you can hand make the hottest thing this holiday season by far is the mason jar. Now, you might look at this and go, seriously, that's a great gift, but it's what you do with this gift. At Michael's, there's all sorts of felt and ribbons like you see here. All you do is embellish your jar. You can even write something on the front of it with the stamps. This is filled, of course, with bonbons. You can get all sorts of candies at Michael's, too. And then there's a little gift card tied with the ribbon. There's a hot chocolate jar. There's a bath salt jar. And I love this because there's an heirloom doily on the top, which could be maybe a handkerchief or something that is sentimental to your family. And then finally, the hostess gift. We all love to go to parties with bottles of wine. And there's certainly ways with gift wrap paper and a gift card to doll up a bottle of um, wine. And of course, all these ideas are in my magazine, but the hot, hot thing are these jar candles. They come in all sorts of colors and fragrances, but same idea with the mason jars. Wrap the candles in all sorts of ribbons and papers and bows and buttons, glitter and Mod Podge, very simple to do. Even some snow text with a little scene is quite simple. This is all ready made. You just put it together, very DIY. You can even embellish with some pendants, some jewelry pieces. All of that is at Michael's. So that's what makes this holiday season special. It's what can you create and what makes it uh, wonderful and personal. And I have all sorts of great ideas at michaels.com if you want DIY, if you want to save money, if you want to show up with something special. That's what this holiday is about. Thanks, Sandra, for all the creative homemade gift ideas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.
Now that you're totally exhausted from preparing the home and buying all the gifts and burning the candle at both ends, it's a perfect time to get away before the new year and experience Yuletide traditions in a winter wonderland like Orlando. Expedia family travel expert Sarah Gaben joins us to encourage those workaholics to unplug and enjoy the Christmas cheer. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. If you need to travel closer to Christmas and New Year's, will it be terribly expensive? If you're looking forward to, to uh, Christmas time, there's a couple of dates where you can still find some good deals. The first is going early and traveling on something like the 18th where you can still find a pretty good deal there. And then the second strategy is really Christmas Eve. Traditionally, it's been Christmas Day where you've been able to get, get great deals, but that's always, you know, everyone always sort of thinks, oh, do I really want to travel on Christmas Day? There are still good deals to be had on Christmas Eve this year, and so we highly recommend that. Are there any package deals to help us save during the holiday season? Yeah, and, you know, the closer you get to a holiday and, the, you know, the more people are traveling on that day, the more expensive it's always going to be. But you can find ways to save money in other spots. So let's say you want to do a, you know, a family trip to Hawaii or, or Mexico or the Caribbean. You can book your flight and your hotel together. The same flight you would otherwise book and the hotel you want to book. If you book those together, on average, you can save up to $500. And in those big resort destinations, you're saving more like $800, $900, even $1,000. And that's really big savings. So, you know, that extra 5 or $10 that you spend on airfare because you're traveling during the holidays is really offset by those huge hotel savings. We're working longer and harder and feeling vacation deprived. We need some fun, Sarah. You know, I think we all still have a little bit of an economic hangover where we, we're just a little bit scared to, to you know, be, we're at our new jobs now and we're a little bit scared to, to leave the office. What we see this year is Americans are more vacation deprived than ever. Uh, we get on average 14 days of vacation, but we're only taking 10. That's twice as many days we're leaving on the table as we did last year, which is really a problem. You know, I, I look around at this beautiful place. I, I'm here at Disney World, and it's amazing. It's all dressed up for the holidays. Um, and I, I, we're, in fact, taking our kids to Disney for the holidays. And there's this giggle that you really only hear when you're at Disney. Um, and that is the kind of thing that because we're leaving all these vacation days on the table and we really aren't unplugging even when we do go on vacation, we miss that kind of giggle. If we can carve out some time, are there any great deals for the last minute getaways? You know, I really recommend uh, using a mobile app. So on the Expedia mobile app, for example, you can save 40, 50, even 60% off a last minute deal. So even if you, you don't even plan ahead and you say, you know what, I have very few meetings on Friday, I could totally sneak out of town for a long weekend don't you know don't don't even bother going online just pick up your mobile phone download the Expedia app and find these killer last-minute deals that are only on mobile thanks Sarah for all your helpful travel tips to save money and enjoy the holiday season thanks have a great one Don't forget to get wrapped up in the holidays with Ion's five brand new original movies, including Defending Santa, My Santa, Holiday Road Trip, Christmas Bell, and All I Want for Christmas. This holiday entertainment feast will help you unplug and enjoy the holiday season with your family and friends. Joining us this morning is Dean Kane to share his exciting role in Defending Santa. Good morning, Dean. Good morning, Rose. Dean, tell us about your role in defending Santa. First of all, I am a huge lover of the holidays. This is my favorite time of the year. Um, and so I love making holiday films. So defending Santa, I play a small town sheriff uh, who discovers a person on Christmas morning, very early Christmas morning, lying in the snow, wearing a Santa Claus suit in the middle of nowhere in this little town. Um, and we have to take him to the hospital. We don't know who he is. And he sits in a coma for the majority of the year. Then the following year, getting close to the holidays, about now, this gentleman suddenly wakes up in the hospital and claims that he is Kris Kringle. And uh, my, I'm a widower and my young daughter, um, she believes him right away. And uh, the town actually is forced to put him on trial uh, to prove who he is because someone thinks he's very dangerous. And through my daughter's eyes and my own and, and the defending attorney who happens to be a love interest, um, we start to start to believe that this guy really could be Santa Claus. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty amazing, fun little um, holiday movie, certainly a family movie. And 
Uh, it's wonderful to sit with the whole family and the kids and watch it, and hopefully they will start telling you, that, that, that's Santa Claus, Mom. What motivated you to take on this role in an Ion Holiday original movie? Well, it, the, the truth of the matter is, is I love holiday movies, and this is something that I'll be able to sit with my son this Sunday. We'll sit down together, and we will watch it together. And um, you know, I just I love to share that with him. I love that that the holidays to me are a magical time, and it's really because the families are all together, the people are all together, and it is that spirit of giving and that spirit of of, of community that I love so much at this time of the year. As the leading actor in defending Santa. What is it that you personally want the viewers to take away after watching this movie? Well, we're doing something special here in New York. I'm in New York currently, and what we're doing here in New York is we are working with the Coalition for the Homeless, and we are uh, passing out a lot of blankets and things. Now, in Florida, uh, the evenings probably aren't quite as cold as they are here in New York at the moment, and so we're giving out thousands of blankets uh, to people who out, out here who need them when the, uh, when the cold comes, and it's coming in this weekend. Um, so we're wrapping them up in, in some, some blankets and providing some, um, some much-needed warmth, hopefully, in this holiday season. Is Defending Santa one of those movies we will want to watch again and again during the holiday season, year after year? Well, there's always that age-old question, which is, when did you stop believing in Santa Claus, or when did you know that Santa Claus wasn't real? But I'm always that sap who says, what do you mean Santa Claus isn't real? And uh, I think the holidays, as my son says, you know, Santa Claus is is the, the spirit of giving. Uh, whether or not Saint Nick exists as a real person uh, or not, it's it's that holiday spirit of giving and and taking care of of those in your in your family, and that's that's really what what this is about and and during the holidays there's a lot of things that happen so a lot of us a lot of the characters in this particular film in defending santa and as a community um we grow a lot closer and a lot uh and people start to believe a lot more in that spirit of giving and and, and community as well what is one of the greatest gifts you receive from your audience from my audience for people well people will tell me and i love to hear it and i'll listen to it all the all day long They'll say, oh, I love to sit down with the family and my kids and everybody and, and watch, watch films like that. I love your Christmas movies. Um, and that literally they could not say anything nicer to me. I love to hear that about Lois and Clark. You know, now listen, all the things that I make, all of the television shows or films that I make, they're not all appropriate for entire families, but a big majority of the things that I do are. And that's because I'm a father myself and, and I love to share those things with my family. I mean, um, even my two and a half year old niece, will sit and watch Defending Santa, and it'll be a magical moment for her. And Dean, it's the holiday season and the magic that movies like Defending Santa bring to our viewers during the holiday season lineup on ION Television. Thanks so much. Happy holidays. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Keep everyone in the family healthy and safe this holiday season. The Florida Department of Health asks Floridians to practice four simple steps to stay healthy while cooking your holiday feast. Clean, cook, chill, and separate. So for our mental health, unplug to hear that giggle when you get away with the family and share with us how you want to unplug during the holiday season of cheer at facebook.com forward slash Rosalie Show or visit us at rosalieartershow.com. Enjoy the season safely with family and friends, and we'll see you soon. Happy holidays. <laughs>